Hello, guys. Thank you for joining us today. So today we will have an art event and will be hosted by Jigisha Kumari from India. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy. And if you have any questions, feel free to type in the chat or in the Q&A session. Okay, so Jigisha. Uh, hello, everyone. I hope you're doing good. So the art event was or is organized by me, Ania, and Satya, but unfortunately they were both unable to be here. But that's okay because we're gonna have lots of fun. Take a moment for the next slide. So on uh, our agenda today, we uh, discuss paintings, music, and dance. We have prepared a short trivia for you. It will have questions about different dances, music, and art styles of different cultures uh, that are present today and from the past. If you know the answers, please uh, feel free to put them in the chat. So the first question we have, uh, Monet's woman with the parasol was painted outdoors. What is the act of painting outdoor for? Can you put your answers in the chat? So we have A in plein air, B in plein air, C outdoor style, D plan. What do you guys think? Come on guys, what do you think? Can you see the chat, Jisha? Yeah, we have three Bs so far. You can also make a guess, you don't have to be right. Let's move on to the uh, answer. Uh, so you are all correct. It's upland air. Uh, this painting was done quickly while outdoors. Yes. So our next question is, uh, Rembrandt's landscape with a stone bridge uses what art style? A. Vanitas, B. Renaissance, B. Barbic, D. Impressionism. Okay, so Tejas thinks it's C, Kevin thinks it's D, and we have a B, another D. Uh, we have a C. So let's see what the answer is. The answer is parts of the picture to direct attention to the central act of figures. Uh, can you repeat, please? I think I, I lost you for a couple of uh, seconds. Yeah, sorry. Um, so the answer is C, bar eek. It uh, uses warm and intense colors uh, to put attention to the central actions of figures. So this question is about music. BTS debuted in 2013 and is the only active group since then. Guess which group did not debut in 2013? A, EXO, B, Blackpink, C, THT, B, Speed. I have a okay. question. Yeah. And are they all Koreans? Yup. Oh, yep. I just know Blackpink. <laughs> So they just take its TXT, uh, Louis thinks it's that too. Nina thinks it's speed. Stanley says B. Kevin, isn't that that's X O, like letters X and O, right? And this is like E X O. Uh, let's see what the answer is. It was speed. Me. 
so with this three correct answers I'm not sure. Uh, yes, I think so. Okay. Ania put in this question. I'm not sure about K-pop. How many K-pop fans are in the chat? I would count myself as a K-pop fan, but I'm not really very hardcore. I'm like pretty new to all of the K-pop stuff. But yes. Yeah, I just know Big Ben. And a couple... And you just I said you knew Blackpink only. <laughs> what? You just said you knew only Blackpink. How do you know Big Bang all of a sudden? No, I mean in this four, oh, okay, I just okay. know Blackpink, but I, I, I didn't have heard any of their songs. But I know that they're a, a, a girl, girl K-pop group, right? Yes, yes, that's the yeah. But Big Bang, I actually. I have I heard a lot. Okay. I, I really like them. How, how about the others? Do you guys like K-pop? Oh, everyone here is a BTS fan. Oh, no one's like K-pop. Nobody wants to to talk. <laughs> Okay, we can move on then. Oh, there you go. Never heard any song of that. Not a fan. No K-popers then. You guys need to check Big Ben. I will share a link. Or maybe it's just an old song, but I will share it anyway. Too overrated. Yeah, I think that's you. I think that's you. <laughs> So I think you, most of you have uh, guessed this right. What is the top one selling album of all time worldwide? A, Michael Jackson's Thriller. B, BG Saturday Night Fever. C, The Beatles Abbey Road. C, ABBA Gold Greatest Hits. Okay, so you have some A's and two C's. Okay, so I think it's uh, between A and C. That's really interesting, Davis. Uh, so the correct answer is A, Michael Jackson's thriller. It has uh, been claimed that almost 17 million sales were made. Oh, I thought that was Beatles. No, no Beatles are the yeah. second highest selling artist oh, after Michael Jackson. That's crazy. Okay, so this is a little up to date. Who has the best selling album for 2020? Taylor Swift, Folklore, BTS, The Map of, C of, uh, Map of the Seoul 7, Dua Lipa, Future Nostalgia, After Hours, The Weekend. Okay, so Tatus is guessing D. Brian thinks it's B. These questions are too C. specific. It's too hard. I think because it's Ania, everyone should go for B, but I don't know. <laughs> I I'd, I'd logically go for D, like the weekend. I think it's BTS. BTS is too huge right now. No, no, yeah. BTS is like Map of the Soul Seven was like I think it like charted as first, but I think when After Hours release, I think After Hours like especially like even uh Blinding Lights like sort of like stayed at number one for like months on end. So God knows. Oh. And what's the logic behind that? Because Ania is a humongous BTS fan. Yes, I knew it. Yeah, it's BTS. It's huge. 4.8 million sales. Which is the most important song on this? I would album? say on the, on it's called it's I think it's a title song, Map of the Soul Seven. So on probably. Oh, so I don't know. I just know butter and yeah. The one with Coldplay? Oh, oh, uh, I'm, oh, I'm forgetting the name. They, they, they remixed one of their songs, right? I'm forgetting which one it was, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Universe, yes, universe. Yeah, so yes, that's what I want. Yeah. Yeah, I really like universe. Yeah, moving to the dance category. Which of the following dances requires two bamboo poles? A. Samba, B. Tinikling, C. Flamenco, D. Ula. What is Tinikling? I have no uh, idea. First guess the answer. So probably I Tinikling then. Have... I have no idea what it is. <laughs> <laughs> we have some B's and C's. Okay. Uh, you're right, Rafael. It's in Nekle. Yeah. It's uh, from the Leyte region of Philippines, and it's one of the most famous folk dances. Ula, it's the one from Hawaii, right? I think so. I'm not sure. You're not sure? Come on. Let me check. Let me Google it right now, then. Hula. I know all of the teams except Hula. So Hula is a Polynesian dance form from Hawaii, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Samba, here at least in Brazil, we people don't even wear clothes. So there is no, no bamboo poles. And flamenco is also from Brazil, right? No, no. Flamenco, I think it's from... Where is flamenco from? Argentina. No, oh, Spain, it's Spain, Spain, Spain. I think it's Spain. Yeah, Spain. Yeah. I think they the ones that have I don't know I don't I don't know how to say it in English the uh, the instrument that plays flamenco. I know that it's called castanhola in in Portuguese, but I don't know in English. Right. So then you can move to the next question. I'll just find uh, We are going. Uh, so, when is the Chinese uh, line dance performed? Birthdays, company openings, Chinese New Year, or weddings? I'm just saying that this quiz is very biased to Ania because, like, all of these are Ania related questions related to Philippines, be it related to like BTS, or be it related to Chinese New Year because I have no idea. Okay, so everybody's guessing C. You are correct. It's most uh, known for, for uh, like, yeah, it's most known for dancing on a Chinese New Year, but it can be performed at any time of the year. And just adding to like Raphael's thing before, Rafael, it is known as a flamenco guitar, apparently, because there's a page on the Wikipedia saying flamenco guitar. The instrument is called flamenco? It's called a flamenco guitar. Oh, no. No, I think that's... No, I was thinking of an uh, instrument that makes hoarse noises. What? <laughs> I would what check... What is that? No, not... Oh, wait, this. You mean this? This what? Do you mean this thing? I don't know what you're talking about, actually. <laughs> look at look at my look at my camera. Do you do you mean this? Oh, machine? I don't I don't see your camera right now. That's why. Let me check. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, so these are called clappers, I think. Clappers. Yeah, that's what we used to call them in music class, I guess. At least. Oh, yeah, I, I prefer. The name in Portuguese then. Yeah, so Castanhola. Castanhola. Yeah. Next question. Okay. Uh, so Castanete. Castanetes. Yes, I yeah, I think it's similar, right? Castanetes. Yes, castanetes better. I I like castanetes. <laughs> I'm just going to say B because of like Tchaikovsky dance of uh, the little swan. That's yeah. all my. So, uh, where do you think Paris is the most famous now? France, Russia, Italy, or USA? So, we have some B's and some A's. 
The correct answer is B. Uh, Russia is known for the beauty of its ballet companies and is one of the countries where ballet is hugely popular. But ba ballet comes from French, right? French? I don't know where it comes from. Wait, if you want me to Google that, I'll just do that for you. At least for at the name, it 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 refers me to France, but I'm not sure. No, ballet, ballet apparently originated in Italy. The history really? of ballet began around 1500 in Italy. So that's cool. Oh, that's like, cool. Yeah. I have no idea about it. Thank you everyone for participating. I hope you had lots of fun. And uh, for next week, if any of you are interested to hold the, uh, host the virtual tour, please uh, give your names to Luis or Raphael. Thank you, Jisha. Uh, does anyone wants to share some culture difference from your own? I don't know. Or culture or dance or music, something that's very unique on your own country. No one wants to share? Okay, can we ask this? Okay, just to make your question a little bit more specific, what about, let's go one category at a time. So what's like one really popular type of like music in everyone's country? Okay, it can be. I'll start for, for me, obviously Bollywood music, that's like not really difficult, but yes, that's like, how do you characterize Bollywood music? It's like loud, funky, a lot of pop, a lot of rock, Happy. I guess. Yes, happy music. If there, there's, but like there's a lot of sad songs as well. Yes. Um, Dangi Dutz. What is this? Actually, I'm curious. What is Dangi Dutz? Can you share um, a song or maybe? Yeah, can you share a video clip of Dangi Dutz, Kevin? I can share it with everyone. Uh, so it's a genre of Indonesian dance or folk music originating from Java. It, it's partly derived and fused from Hindustani, Arabic, and Malay music, and to lesser extent, local folk music in Indonesia. I'm reading this from Wikipedia. This is not something that I know. Yeah, but maybe people can share their yeah. favorite songs so we can oh, share yeah. here in the screen so What's everyone can, can listen as well. What's everyone's favorite traditional song, guys? Can you please send to me in the chat and I can share it with everyone. We have Manel in Romania. So please share Kevin, Ken, Nico, Eva, Beatrix. Yes, yeah, can be your favorite, favorite traditional song. Traditional songs, like by that, I mean, not necessarily like a traditional style, but like something from your country. For example, like you're from Singapore, so something from Singapore. So, yeah, it, can, it can be a pop song, I don't mind. Yeah, true. Hmm. Rafael, what's your favorite song from Brazil? From Brazil? Oh, actually, I have one here. Let me share. Ryan, it's it changed, but Usually, what I'm listening the most is. Wait a minute. Let me... By the way, I wanted to tell you this. I haven't told you this. I've started listening to Brazilian rock music because I didn't know rock was so big in Brazil. Actually, it's not that big, but we kind of listen still. But <laughs> nowadays, we just, uh, the younger, just listen to. <laughs> Funk, Brazilian funk, and Perfect. country, Brazilian country. That's different. Isn't Bossa Nova also like big? For old people. Oh, okay. Can you guys hear? I don't think so, right? I think I, I didn't share yeah. it correctly. Wait a minute. Also, by the way, I listen to these people, like Rafael. I don't want to pronounce their name. Legion Urbana. Oh, they are great. They are great. Yes, yes. But the vocalist died a long time ago. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. That is sad. 
Can you guys hear it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sol, vê se não esquece e me ilumina. Preciso de você aqui. Oh, sol, vê se enriquece a minha melanina. Só você me faz sorrir. So it's more, more like a beach song, and he's talking to the sun. So I, I like this calm music with some uh, just guitar. That's really cool. That's really cool. I think most of us would know that. I don't know. I think the song was also called Brazil. Like it was like an early 2000s song. I don't think you guys would remember it. But it was like really popular all over the world, especially in India for some reason. Which one? I think this. Wait, let me just find the name. I let me get this music that can share. Oh, through. okay. Oh, okay. Venga Boys to Brazil. Venga Boys. Venga Boys. Venga Boys. Venga like, Boys. Yeah, Venga Boys aren't Brazilian, but like they were like really big early in the 2000s. So they were like a Euro dance group back in the 2000s. So like to Brazil was like one of their bigger songs. Uh, I need to check. I have no idea what you're talking about. Fair enough. You can check it out. <laughs> I don't know. If Vanga know. boys, can you type in the chat? Wait, let me do that. Here. Let me share here. What song is this? Oh, it's not. Let me go back to that. Sama sama maju ke hadapan pandai cari pelajaran jaga diri dalam kesihatan serta sopan santun dengan kawan kawan dengan hati bersih serta suci. Sama-sama hormat dan berbudi Jaga tingkah pemuda-pemudi Adat dan budaya junjung tinggi Capailah lekas cita-cita I, I enjoyed the, the melody. Who's shared? Kim? Maybe, Kim, can you talk about uh, what this song is about? Where is Kim? Let me allow you to talk here. Maybe, can you explain a little bit? Hello, Kim. Oh, hi. Uh... It's like a Malay song that was composed by a very famous composer in Singapore who also composed our national anthem. And this Malay song is played every year on Children's Day because we have a Children's Day, right? And it's played every year in Singapore. And it kind of means like, um, like about the friendship and our, uh, we are known for like our kampong spirit in, among Singaporeans, yeah. Oh, that's good. But uh, Malaysia and Singapore is kind of related. Or uh, yeah. Oh, really? Uh, like, not related, related. Like, we're very different, but we are, like, very close because we are just, like, a border away. Okay. But do you yeah. know how to, how, how to speak Malaysian? Uh, Malaysians speak Malays and Chinese, so I know how to speak Chinese because that's my mother tongue language. And but I'm not sure how to speak Malay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Rafael, do you want me to share the song that I was talking about? Sure. Okay. Oh. 
Wait, I, I'm going to share the Spotify thing because uh, YouTube might not be appropriate right now. So, yes. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay. Get ready to listen to a pretty big song back in the early 2000s. So, yeah. That song. was the song for some reason yeah. for very yeah. very odd reasons this was huge in india oh really so, yeah yeah i've heard it i didn't know that it was uh, like from actually from brazil i think it was ah, it's not from brazil wait where are the venga boys from let me show you so when the so, netherlands yeah so the venga boys are dutch the songs about brazil it was huge in india <laughs> yeah, but they also have like a song about a pizza, which is pretty yeah. big. That's At least crazy. I know it. That's really cool. Oh, that's crazy! A uh, Dutch song from uh, about Jap uh, about Brazil that very, was very famous in India. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's why I, I didn't know about Venga Boys. I I know this song, but I I I didn't know that it was Venga Boys. Let me, Kevin also shared one. Let me check here. Also, did we did we have someone Romanian in the chat? Um, I think I did read someone, right? Yes, Beatrix. Uh, oh yeah, Beatrix is also from there. Yeah, so like also like one other song like from Romania, I think, which was like really popular all across the world was like Dragostea Din Te, which was huge. Yeah. Let me share screen again. Uh, seems like a pop music. Let me. What language is this? It seems like a party song. Who shared? It's Kevin, can, can you please talk a little bit, Kevin? Which one should I allow to talk? Let me allow both. <laughs> Hello, I think Kevin. This is the hi. This is this one is the unfriend. The un, I would say an an at an. an, an uncharted friendly one because the first one i the first time i saw it, it was like an indonesian version of uh i don't know it's like a daily show i guess like an adult daily show a sinetron which i think is an indonesian version of uh i'm not sure what they call it like a, a very long lasting tv show that's about the same characters like they just push it over with tv series and this was basically yeah, a TV series, but I think I was I was referring to like the Latin American version, which is like I think what they call it, like um, so opera. No, 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 the TV show. I'm not sure. Yeah, I I've thought about it, but this was about a, the first time I heard about this song. It was during a show where this was like popularized, and I was like, the song is too popular because of it because it was on a TV show about this thing about this song and eventually I think 
the, the original singer eventually claimed the song after the TV show was done. Because the one you saw in the video wasn't the real one, I think. Oh, sure. okay. Because I, I think I accidentally sent like three links because I forgot whatever. And even the last one that I said, this was more child friendly. That wasn't the original song. That was just the title that I thought was a lyric. The, uh, ori- the, ori- the original no. one was, was an actual child song from Papua, which they changed the lyric to make it more like a national anthem during soccer games. Soccer games? Yeah. You know, soccer, soccer is big in Indonesia. Oh, really? I didn't know about it. Yeah, that's why like, like the Persija, Persat one, Sepak Bula, Jakarta, and the, so like the one in Bali. Which country then, you guys are going to cheer for the World Cup? Argentina, and they're going to beat Brazil, my friend. Argentina I'm, I'm not, are going to crush Brazil. I'm not big with football. But honestly. usually, if, if I were, which country the the Indonesian usually cheer for? I'm not really on the news because Indonesia's the one that we most value are the most is badminton. Like, if you remember, it, we the we, women pair last last Olympic we won gold for the first time in like forever. That's the big one, and like the the minions, if you know them. Yes. But Kevin Sanjaya and whoever the guy was. Yeah. Yeah. I originally thought they I originally thought they caught them the minion because they were yellow every time, but apparently it's not. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Let me get the other one. You want here. me to share the one that if you want me to share the one that like Beatrix put on the chat, I can do that. No, I I, I just got Stanislav music first. Okay, sir. okay, let me share here. It's a Ukrainian song, right? It's a rock song, right? What's talking about? Can you please? Where is Tennis Love here? I uh, love to talk. Where are you? Where are you? Stop the, the move. <laughs> and there you go. Maybe can you explain a little bit the lyrics or what's behind the song? Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, this is a song by Andrei Kuzmenko, but um, unfortunately uh, he died in 2014 by auto accident. So this is a sad song about uh, people that uh, are like uh, sheep. Uh, they uh, uh, died by they are in our souls. They uh, believe in our uh, power. So this is a sad song. So thank you for sharing Stan's life. Even though, actually, actually I really enjoy uh, hearing sad songs. I don't know why. Sometimes I even cry just hearing a couple of sad songs. So I, I think that even though they are sad, I think it's great to, to have those kind of songs. So thank I you for sharing. I think that there is something unusual about uh, sad songs in Ukrainian because uh, about the situation in Ukrainian war, because other situation about Ukrainian uh, nationalities, uh, it can show our power, but in this song, uh, it can uh, maybe uh, someone to make sad, but it can. Uh, uh, but it can teach how to uh, feel that uh, pain. Yes, yes, that's right. Thank you, Stanislav. Thank you very much. You're welcome. 
Let me guess that trick song. Do you have it? It's a red. I have it both if you want. Okay. Yeah. You want me to you, yes, please. Okay. So yeah, this one you most of you all will recognize this because it's like a really popular song early in the day. So yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that this song it was a uh, very viral uh, the whole world, but with different yeah. language of each country, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We have a we have a Hindi version of the song. In fact, I think Jigisha, you were mentioning it's like, um, do you know the version, the Hindi version of the song, what it's called? I don't know, but I I've heard it. I feel like I've heard it, but I didn't know that it was actually not Indian. Um, yeah, I, I we have a a song here in Brazil. It's the same, but it's a uh, different lyrics, just uh, Portuguese lyrics. Yeah. yeah, I really like that song actually. This this song that's the most popular in Romania. It went viral over the world. I didn't know that it was from Romania. Can you please? And maybe you can talk about a little bit about it, Beatrix. Where are you? Oh, thank you. Okay, so yes, um, uh, when when I was little, it was really really popular. We all liked it. Actually, at that time, I couldn't speak Romanian, but I still vibed to it. <laughs> and if wherever you went it was like all over like at birthdays and everywhere and even like in the recent years before the covid at the parties we always had it like in the morning it's just i don't know so famous and i think that uh this song got romania the first and maybe like the only grammy nomination that they had and then i think that after this song they still had like another popular song we used that for our uh, graduation uh, anim at school. And after then, I think that they just disbanded. But this one song, I think that like when people ask about uh, popular Romanian songs, I think that this one is the only one that I could mention. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a great song, actually. I really enjoy hearing time at a time. I mean, the lyrics are just, I don't know, not that interesting, but the song itself is just, I yeah. don't know, like probably, priceless. Probably this the meaning of this song it's uh, maintaining the whole world because here in Portuguese as well it doesn't mean absolutely <laughs> anything. <laughs> the lyrics. Yeah. So as as I, as I uh, as you could see, I translated the title. I mean, like the love under the linden tree. And he, he's like just talking to Joe on the phone. Are, my dear, are you there? And then, oh no, hello. So, <laughs> it makes, cool that. Do you want me? my sense, but it's, it's just a nice song. Yeah. One question: do you, do you want me to show like a pretty viral video? I think that was made with this song. It was called Numa Numa, which made, became like huge on YouTube. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can actually like in the lyrics that means only, only. Wait, wait, wait. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Um. One sec. Uh, let me open Eva song here as well. Where are you, Tejas? We. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yeah, wait, let me just oh, like okay. just read the video that I was gonna. Uh, okay, so this was like huge um, back on YouTube, like back in the day. As you can see, it's like 2006, so it's like a really old video. Um, 
basically it's like huge back in the day so I'll, I'll not take too much time because like you want to play a song and then i might have like an indian song as well so you guys can listen to that too yeah but i guess his vibe i feel the same yeah let me share eva song here Si seulement elle savait comment, comment tu l'imaginais, elle pourrait t'abîmer. Mais laisse, laisse le temps, elle pourrait vous donner une chance de vous retrouver. Il lui faudra du temps, c'est sûr, pour oublier tous ses préjugés. Mais tu voudrais qu'elle soit ta reine ce soir. Même si de run c'est pas trop accepté Mais tu voudrais qu'elle soit ta reine ce soir Toi le roi tu t'en fous c'est pas ce qui te plaît Si seulement elle savait comment, comment tu l'envisageais Même si t'es une fille Where is Eva? I... I... It was the most thing that the, the thing that most impressed me was her vein. It's very big when whenever she sings. Wait a minute, where is Eva? Hi. Hey. Hello, Eva. Can you please talk a little bit about this song? Yes. Uh, so basically, the title is um, in French, Ta Reine, and uh, it means your queen. And it's about um, a girl who is in love of another girl and uh, can't really um, share a feeling with the other girl because she is afraid of what the other will think about her. Um, and Angel, the girl who sings this song, is really famous in Belgium, in French, and maybe about in the Netherlands, I don't know. Um, and all our songs are about a topic like homosexuality, um, violence, and all, all important topic. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Thank you for sharing. Did you Thank know you about too. her, Lisa? No, not about her specifically, but this type of music about important topics and feelings is like really popular right now in the Netherlands. So I think it is known, but there are just a lot of artists like this in the Netherlands right now. Yeah, as I can see, this video has more than 50 million views. So that's pretty huge, right? Thank you, Eva, for sharing. Rafael, can I play like an Indian song now? Because I think I haven't played one yet. Let me check if there is any other ones sharing. Oh no, I think that's it, right? Yes, you yeah. can you can share it. Go ahead. Okay, this just... song is from like a film back in like 2011, and it's like huge in India, as you can see, 293 million views. So it's like massive. So yes, it's it's like so. Um, long story short, it's a genre called Sufi. Um, and Ghazals, basically, so Sufi music is sort of Persian-inspired uh, music in India that's predominantly played by the Muslim community. So, yeah, this is sort of like an amalgamation of that. <laughs> Ya 
basically to give you like back story into this so it's a movie about this guy who wants to pursue music and wants to become like a musician um his family is like a really conservative family from india um so when his father finds out that he's been playing music and stuff he's basically like kicked out of his house so he goes to like um a madrasa or like a mosque basically um and he basically like seeks shelter and refuge over there and mosques um typically in india also have these long sessions of like playing music etc in like large groups so he sort of like finds a home in that and starts playing music over there so it's sort of a sad, a sad song but it's also sort of like a spiritual song which is kind of cool to see you're on mute you're on mute it really gave me the indian vibes i think the the song so thank you for sharing they just uh the plot line sounds like coco to me coco. i mean but like coco came afterwards so yes but coco was oh. a good, good movie oh just to finish actually we'll share it. probably i think it was the most famous brazilian song at at recent times actually it's a brazilian country song let me share here wait a minute what is it okay here I think that they created this song for uh, many more languages. So, yeah, maybe you guys know. Você me mata, assim você me mata. Ai, se eu te pego, ai, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ai se eu te pego, ai, delícia, delícia. Assim você me mata. Ai, se eu te pego, ai, ai, se eu te pego, hein? Did you guys have a read? I have, I think. This yeah. this one is was a hit when I was 10 or 11. I think that I was 11. It was such a big hit. I, I, people kept dancing even like on the streets. So it's like even before TikTok. <laughs> yes, I think it was from 10 years ago. Yes, years and, ago. And, yes, that was I was 11 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. And uh, we had the original one we didn't translate it i mean usually we keep the original one and like oh really we learn the uh, lyrics without understanding them that's cool i think i thought that people would create in their own language everyone knows this song is in belgian oh that's cool that's cool so i think that's it guys look is there any other song that you guys want to share we have we have a time for one more, the last one. Otherwise, we can just finish. I thought Rafael was going to play Waka Waka. Uh, actually, Waka Waka is not from Brazil. That's why. Yeah, because like Shakira is also like Colombian, and it was made for like the South Africa World Cup. So what yeah. do you have to? It's a Waka Waka. 
there is wait. a couple words in Spanish, not Portuguese. Uh, wait, Rafael, what do you think about Ole Ola, the 2014 team for the World Cup? Ole Ola? Uh, by Pitbull. Have you not heard that song? Uh, not sure. If you want to play that, you can. I don't think I would. I don't think that would be appropriate. Actually, don't don't play it on like, YouTube. Just play it on Spotify. Oh, okay. It, it it has carnival scenes. So yes. Oh okay. I can <laughs> I can check. Oh no. No, I think I like, but I mean it's not a Brazilian song, right? It was more for the World Cup, so it doesn't no, represent. Like it, had, it, had, it had like an entire verse in Portuguese and stuff. I think I have never heard the the version in Portuguese. I just know the English one. Oh wow! Well. But I can check later. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so I think that's it, guys. Uh, one question: Does anyone wants to do a virtual tour about your country, your place, or your school, or something like that? If you guys want to do something uh, virtual tour, you guys can contact Luis, Luisa, Luisa and Nusha, okay? Oh, that's cool, Eva. Maybe Luisa, can you contact Eva? She's, she's also in the coaching team, so it will be easier for you to contact her. Okay? Okay, guys, so that's it. If you guys have any problems, any questions, please contact your coaches or you can send an email to academy at x-culture.org. Okay. I hope, oh, wait a minute. I type it wrongly. There you go. So I hope you guys, I hope to see you guys next weekend for our last virtual tour, right? Let me check. Yes, it's going to be our last virtual tour. So please join us again next weekend. See you. Bye bye. Thank you, Jigisha. Thank you, Tejas, Luisa. Thank you, everyone, for sharing your songs. Bye bye. bye, -bye.